Hello everyone, my name is Shami and today I'm going to talk about my very first game that I published a few days ago and it was developed on uh, Unreal Engine 5, uh, 5.2 to be precise. I just wanted to make a video for the people that are interested in uh, game development and I just wanted to share my you know, experiences with the Unreal Engine and with the game development uh, basically. The name of my game is uh, Find Your Way Out and this is uh, this is the home screen of my game uh, basically i uploaded it to itch.io it's a free hosting site for your game and uh, you can see a few screenshots some description and title etc uh, download button you can just download it's under uh, one gigabyte so it's a really good size for this this you know uh, visually it's kind of game and you can just download and unzip it and play it for free uh, you can add comments down below and this is it you you can publish your games here if you want to publish your game on steam it costs around a uh, hundred dollars uh, per game and uh, same goes for the epic <coughs> launcher but they have their own perks you pay the money you get like uh, a good service there and if you don't have money you can always upload your stuff to your game to uh, h.io <coughs> and the uh, the itch.io has downside that it can only uh, you can like only upload uh, a game less than a gigabyte for free if you want to do it and if it is uh, more than a gigabyte if it's three gigabytes or something or 10 gigabyte you need to pay the money accordingly so yeah you can just anytime upload a game uh, you know uh, less than one gigabyte for free I will put the game link in the description down below and let me mention something that is really important that uh, I didn't had any uh, language experience prior to this project and I was trying out uh, you know I was uh, testing the physics as you can see in the video and I was uh, constantly learning blueprints uh, blueprints are basically the language of uh, Unreal Engine uh, it's an uh, alternative to C++, but it's visual language for visual scripting language for Unreal Engine. As I told you that it was a learning project, so I have uh, uh, three levels in the game. The first level is called uh, Hardship, and basically as the name of the game suggests that you need to find your way out uh, one way or another. So you need to find some keys and unlock a, a hidden path and stuff like that the second one is uh, the second level is called uh, suffering and you need to go through hidden tiles and stuff and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the footage here and a brief footage uh, so you, you have the idea and the third level is a big maze uh, a labyrinth uh, you can say and it's uh, you, you need to find coins and keys and the third level is a different approach you basically uh, the player gets frustrated and finding all the keys and coins to unlock uh, unlock two doors at the end and th that's it I mean there is nothing fancy going on with the game the major issue uh, was that I didn't know how to code and I still don't have any idea how to do coding properly like I, I know very basics of uh, coding so it was uh, the most uh, hard part of this game because if you have some errors or uh, like I spent a month I guess to uh, figure out my spawning system uh, when player dies and you respawn from the last checkpoint so it was really hard and uh, after publishing my first game I am co confident enough to like uh, you know learn Unreal Engine more and more so yeah that, that's uh, you you don't get uh, like don't be disappointed with your sorry for my bad English so uh, don't get disappointed if you can't achieve something you get help there are uh, Unreal Engine discord servers people are super helpful there and there are all kind of possibilities like there is a lot of uh, documentation for Unreal Engine and very sole purpose of uh, making this video is to un encourage people uh, to you know if you are into game development and you want to do it just start you know uh, start making a project and it would be the beginning of your learning curve I guess 
uh, don't be like afraid uh, just do it man and uh, you you you'll find yourself somewhere at least one of the most uh, challenging part of this game was to uh, make working menus and from the coding standpoint it was really difficult because i had two menus uh, a main menu and a pause menu and for some someone with the zero experience with coding someone starting from scratch it was a big deal for me it uh, it took a few days to figure out things properly and i designed everything on my phone literally uh, i i can show you some stuff uh, settings and uh, uh, credit screen and everything is very basic but I made it on my phone in, in Pixart. I could have made it in uh, Photoshop but uh, phone was a pretty easy actually. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be uploading the game trailer soon after this video and I'm, uh, I'm planning to upload the entire gameplay uh, of my game. So stay tuned in and thank you for watching.